Hi and welcome back to Mike Makes It. We're in the garage and yet another upgrade for the old pillar drill here. Let me switch it on, I think you'll work out what it is. We've done we've done the taco. We've done the DRO. Now it's an overhead light for the, the drill itself. So off we go, I'll show you what I did. Well this is what you've seen on the pillar drill. It's called an Angel Eye uh, LED rain ring light that'll fit to a, a vehicle of some description if you wish to make it look nice. Well Mike hopefully is making his pillar drill look nice by fitting this to it. It'll enable me to see a little bit clearer when we're drilling holes in things um, which is all good. The only problem I had initially I bought this one um, because the eBay sellers and Banggood for that matter seem to only want to tell you the outside diameter and not the inside diameter. Now I need a 75 mil. I took a guess on this. It's a little bit too big. Seller claims this is 12 to 24 volts, which was ideal because I can pick up the 24 volts on the pillar drill. This one, which is just right, the seller was good enough to give me the inside diameter. I needed 77 millimeters. This is just a tad over that. So size wise bang on. Unfortunately, uh, seller claims 12 volt, 12 volt only. But I've had a good look at the little uh, regulator here. And as far as I'm concerned, they're both the same. And the 12 volt uh, power supply proved that because uh, well, it was a variable supply. I've stuck 24 volts up here. This draws virtually the same current as this one at 24 or 12 volts and the voltage output is identical. So I'm happy I can safely run this on 24 volts. Uh, the reason I went for 24 volts or want 24 volts is the pillar drill has got its own built-in power supply that I'm using for an air compressor line uh, or an actuator to turn air on and off to blow the debris away while I'm drilling. So yeah, all I'm going to do now is a nice simple job today. Um, put a little longer cable on here, which I'll solder on in a second, and move the regulator circuit away from debris, etc., and put this inside the box where the 24 volt power supply is. So that's all I'm gonna do, stick a couple of longer cables on this now. There's a helping hand, a third hand, I think I called it, that I made in a video a few weeks ago, and it's in use now. So let's tin those cables up before we fit him. There we go. Now we'll move down to uh, Jolly Old Angel Eye. Remember pink on the, on the left, that's positive. Uh, the cable I'm using is a bit of old Christmas uh, decoration cable and uh, one piece is copper, the other is tin copper so that should be easy enough to uh, figure out. Whilst it's good for 24 volts, I'm sure it's not good for 24 volts up the wrong uh, cable so to speak. Let's just turn that around. I think I'm going to put some uh, hot melt glue on here just to stop these fracturing. And I think I'll probably even bond this to the pillar drill with hot melt glue. I don't think this gets too warm so it's not going to drop off halfway through drilling things. So uh, yeah, there we go. I'll carry on and put this regulator chip halfway up the cable and we'll take go down to the garage and install it. Right, there you go. That's the angel light fitted just above the chuck. It's tie wrapped in. Uh, I found a long tie wrap was good enough to hold it into place. If it does move, then I'll glue it. But if it's only tie wrapped, it's easy to remove. I've laced the cable up behind all this gubbins here. This device you've seen before in previous videos. That's a taco. Tell me the speed of the uh, pillar drill. Sitting in the back here, there's a power supply for it, a 24 volt power supply that comes on when the pillar drill's turned on. But that also feeds an air solenoid here. 
um, that puts an air supply down to this that blows debris away when I'm drilling so that's all handy but I've also tapped into the 24 volt supply for the angel eye like I said earlier the, the angel eye was uh, is 12 to 24 volts well this one is anyhow so be careful if you buy one off eBay and it's only 12 and you're using a 24 volt power supply that that'll spoil your day but let me show you I'll, I'll just flick it on and that is bright um, and a little bit noisy because the drills running but the problem I'm gonna find here it's side lit as well so it, the light is coming out of me so what I'm gonna do is I'm not sure whether I'm gonna put tape around that or paint it um, but you can see what it's like now and you'll see what it's like in two seconds after I've done something to it well I've blacked that out with a little bit of duct tape 3m duct tape it, it works, it's effective. I can put a bit of paint on there, I suppose, but uh, the duct tape's immediate. Let me switch it on, and you can see. The light isn't coming towards me, it's more down on the workpiece. And uh, that's what I was looking for. All right, not as bright as I would like, but better than no light. So um, hopefully, I'm gonna find that's an improvement. I do have a secondary lamp I can put on, which I'll turn on now. Um, floods the camera out a bit. But yeah, yeah, to my eyes, that's a fairly good light. Let's just turn that off. It obviously goes off with the drill. Um, if I wanted it on all the time, uh, when I'm setting up a workpiece, I'm going to have to power it up separately. Uh, as I say, the 24 volt supply only comes on when the drill's on. But yeah i think that's probably well one more upgrade for the pillar drill perhaps in the pipeline but uh, for now that's it so um yeah hopefully you found that useful and uh, you, you might have a better idea than i have but that certainly seemed to work quite effectively and it's where it should be over the workpiece likewise anyhow so uh, yeah i'm quite pleased with that anyhow thanks for watching thumbs up would be great